It's really awesome day today. It's like in the 60s, which is crazy because it was just like icing, but hey, it's North Carolina. But today, gotta take Mr. Bolt to his vet appointment. Gonna get him up to date with shots and they're also gonna check out his throat and like the reason he can't meow and all that. It's basically like a pre-surgery visit because he needs to get neutered because he's been getting very, very horny and uh, he's been trying to mount his mother. And, and we may be in South Virginia, but we ain't getting down with none of that West Virginia stuff. I'm gonna go take him right now to the vet. Uh, because of COVID, I just have to like drop him off and then wait for them to give him back. So yeah, onward. Uh, hi Shauna, I'm here uh, with Bolt for his two o'clock appointment. Awesome, hang on one second, let me grab your chart and I'll be right with you. All right, we got him back. Uh, the doctor said that everything seems normal with him. They don't think it is a lung issue. They are kind of in agreement with me that maybe it's some sort of like scar tissue, like something that kind of happened to maybe like his trachea, vocal cords, things like that. But they checked him out, looked down his throat. Everything's good. He doesn't have any trouble like whenever he drinks or swallows or anything. And so it's one of those things to where they're like, we're just not gonna mess with it right now because it doesn't seem to to really bother him at all and it may have just something may have happened whenever he was if you hear crinkling he's playing with this toy they gave him something may have just happened uh, when he was a kitten and so yeah he's got a good bill of health just got to call back and then get him all scheduled for his neuter so he can quit trying to hump his mother oh and also my grandma she bought me and Steffi a microwave thank you grandma you're the best love you Anytime in her free time, Steph is always looking on like Pet Finder and at the shelters and all of these other places for dogs, right? I love dogs. I love dogs more than anything. And she's been like, hey, let's get another dog. And I've constantly said no. Now, because I want all the dogs, but I know how much goes into puppies and raising dogs. I've done a billion of them. So I was like, no, it's not a good idea. Not right now. We just got into this place. It's all nice. It's chill. But I've made a mistake. I made a dire error. I told her, listen, I'm going to say no to all dogs. But if you happen to bring a dog here, I'm not going to tell you to get rid of it. Because I'm going to be like, sweet, we got a puppy. That's the worst thing I could have said. She is uh, gone with her friend Shelby to get a puppy. So, guessing, uh, guessing the pack is going up to four now. I did this to myself. I should have never said that. Do we need another dog? No. I'm not gonna say that I hate puppies. It's just I've raised and trained so many dogs, I know how hard puppies are. But uh, I mean, when she brings it back, am I gonna be stoked? Yeah, but it's just, I know there's gonna be a lot of sleepless nights ahead for training and crate training and all that kind of stuff and potty accidents. It is what it is. So now I'm just sitting and uh, waiting here for our new four-legged friend. Days later. First time watching both the kiddos really embracing the uh, the dad life of the baby polar bear. And then Ember over there, who's just so big mad right now. I've told him he can come lay right here, but he's just not. <sighs> I 
Steph went into the hair shop, so me and Oliver Francis are waiting. Isn't that right, Oliver Francis? We're going to have lunch with some friends at a brewery. Uh, makes me sad because uh, with my tricapta levels raised, obviously can't be drinking, so I just get to watch other people drink delicious beer. And I'll just sip on, uh, sip on my water. Yay. Ollie, are you gonna have some beers for me? Maybe? Maybe have some beers for me? Hey Steph, your XXL Bad Dragon Super Large Dildo just got here. It's a rug. Whatever you say. Making a tofu dish tonight. Told Steffi I'd make her something that she could actually eat. I may do a 60 second recipe on this one, but for right now I'm just doing it without the 60 second recipe because I've never made this before. And tofu is a very fickle beast. So I'm gonna run through it one time, see how it is. And if it works out well, then I'll make a 60 second recipe for it. Because it's very hard to do a 60 second recipe for something you haven't made before. So you're trying to be funny and spontaneous while also trying to make sure you don't f things up. So we're not doing that. It's going to be honey garlic tofu with rice. So we got all of our stuff. Well, not that. It's four sticks of butter that's going to be made into. I like the plate. I figured you wanted the plate. That's why I made you a plate <laughs> one. There you go. Thanks, Dad. Welcome. Not my best plating, but it'll be all right. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta test the broccoli, too. Not bad. <laughs> well, it must not have been terrible. <laughs> Can I have dessert now? Cookies. Just a one jar of sprinkles. It's for everybody to know too. <laughs> Jesus. So I buy I buy stuff at the store. You know I'm the, not the most healthy eater. It's getting better though being here. But I like candy and sweets and all that. Every time Steph, you know what she says. I'm like, you. Why don't you get something sweet? She's like, I don't like that. I don't want that. I bought a thing of Kit. This same exact thing of Kit Kats. I bought. You know how many I had out of it. Steph, where'd the rest of the Kit Kats go? Ask Amber. Amber can't have chocolate, so I know it's not Amber. He can have whatever he wants. Steph, will you please read off again <laughs> what the Kit Kats made out of? Please read that again. Just one. Please just read it. Exactly as you just said it. Crisp waffer. <laughs> waffer. That's what, that's what you're going to go with. That's your final answer. Crisp waffers. <laughs> Crisp waffer. Every day we stray further from God. <laughs> What's up, folks? First of all, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. But as always, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the amazing sponsors for the channel. So me and Bolty are here to tell you all about today's sponsor, which is the always fantastic Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people just like you, where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journeys. Whether you want to learn new skills, get better at your current skills, or just get lost in creativity, Skillshare's got something for just about everybody. Skillshare is one of the most valuable assets in my creator toolbox because if you ever have been wanting to get into YouTube or streaming or anything like that, Skillshare has all the classes that you're going to need to get you started and make you a pro at your craft illustration graphic design photography film and video if you're looking for a one-stop shop to try to get into the world of vlogging or just want to deepen your skills into things that you already know man Skillshare it has everything you're gonna need all of my editing is done in Premiere Pro and if you don't know how to use the program that's
that's fine because I have the perfect class just for you. If you've never touched Premiere Pro before, if you've never opened up the program, this is the class for you. Learn Premiere Pro and Edit, a how-to video for beginners by Halise, is a video that I would recommend to anyone because it breaks Premiere Pro down into super simple steps that anyone can follow and it's the best video that I recommend to people to kind of give them a starting point on how to learn Premiere and how to navigate the program easily without overwhelming you with too much information. One of the best things that I enjoy about Skillshare is it's curated for learning. So you're not going to get ads every five seconds. You know, it's ad free so you can really focus on what you're trying to learn and everything's broken down to super easy follow chapters. So if you suddenly get busy and need to bolt for a minute, you can come right back and pick up exactly where you left off. And let's not forget my second favorite thing. It is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and with the amount of content that you get on Skillshare and just how knowledgeable that the teachers are, man, you absolutely cannot beat that deal for everything that you get with Skillshare. And because I love all of y'all and I know you're absolutely going to dig Skillshare, the first thousand people that click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. A lot of us are stuck in the house all day, every day, but you know what? Time is what you make it. So why not use this opportunity that you have when we're stuck in the house to really embrace your creativity and pick up a new class or maybe get better at a skill you already have. Skillshare, I'm telling you, has a class that is for everybody. Skillshare also has one of the most amazing and supportive communities out there. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description. First a thousand people get a free trial to Skillshare Premium. I'm telling you, you absolutely will not regret it. So take some of the free time you have now, get creative, get the juices flowing. I promise you, you won't regret it. You're gonna love it. Get Skillshare right now. Thank you all so much for watching the video. As you all know, and even if you don't, I love every single one of you. Even the trolls love you too. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. I will see you on the next one, but for now, I'm out of here. Love y'all. Be good to one another. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.